What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again and today I want to continue my talk on the thread world of computer systems and today we're going to talk about um, semaphores. Now semaphores as you see are really similar to mutexes in that um, they work they work just like mutexes but semaphores kind of allow for a little more variability as you see or a little bit more length. And so, getting started off here, a semaphore is a variable abstract data type that is used for controlling access to multiple threads or processes. And so, what this what this does is semaphores allow you to share a to share something. God, I got a lot of misspellings there. Among share value um, share variables among threads, threads with an S. So, um, one way to think of semaphores essentially is that they can be used for mutual exclusion, which means that only something can be accessed at, a, at one time. But the thing is, so you have a mutex, and in a mutex, remember my pen example, I have the pen at the table, and only one person can grab it, and when they grab the pen, only one person is talking. And then when I'm done with that, when I'm done talking, when the thread is done with what its activities it has to do, it puts the pen back, and then somebody else can grab it. Anybody. Now, a semaphore is really cool in that, it allows for many, um, more than one person to grab it. So a semaphore essentially is just like a mutex, but it's a variable mutex. And what do I mean by that is that I can have a semaphore and I can say, okay, nine threads can access this junction of code. There are, there's a few semaphores who can, who can be initialized to go through this code. Like if a semaphore hits, you know, this, um, if a semaphore gets this lock, then it grabs it. But then that's not the only lock. I can say there's nine locks. And then another thread can come and get that. So now there's seven locks left. And then they'll keep on going. And then when all nine locks are gone, the next thread, the tenth thread that comes along, can't grab any more threads. And because it can't grab any more threads, it must wait there. So you can think of a semaphore as a bouncer at a nightclub. So there is, there's a dedicated number of people allowed into the space. Well, it's, it gets too crowded. You know, 10 people are trying to come in. If the club is too full, no one is allowed to enter. But as soon as one person leaves, the bouncer is going to let someone in. And that's the same thing with semaphores. So semaphores, I can say, it's just I can vary how many locks I have. So with a mutex, you only can have one lock. You can only have one, you can only, you can only have the lock like full, like you can have the lock there or someone can take the lock. With a semaphore, you can have multiple locks, and I can say, okay, let in 40 threads until, you know, until, let in 40 threads. So, until, so I'll let in all the threads up to 40. And then if there are 40 threads inside the semaphore cord, so, um, you know, in the club, doing operations on my variables, then um, I won't let anyone in. But as soon as one leaves... I can, I'll, I'll at least, you know, open the club and maybe no other threads will come or maybe a thread will come. It doesn't matter. If a thread comes, it will be allowed in. If it's ma if the threads are maxed out, it will not be allowed to come in. So that's really the diff The only difference. Semaphores and mutexes are really the same in that, yeah, mutexes are just kind of a little, um, a little more keen, a little more just one binary mutex, a little more binary. And that's what actually a mutex is called. It's called a binary semaphore. Because the lock can either be 0 or 1, really. Whereas a semaphore can vary. It can be 0, all taken up to um, as much as many threads as you want. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have the best day of your life. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you want to watch more videos of the same category, you can click over here. And if you want to watch any new videos and learn something new, you can click over here. Have the best day of your life.